Mm. So now we're touching on um, Job chapter 21, verse 18. We've been saying that there's a missing verse that's not contained. There's a missing verse that's not contained in the King James Version of the Bible. But it is in the Metaf Kedus or the Revised Amharic Bible, the Emperor's Bible, Hala Selassie, in the Hala Selassie Bible, this missing verse, and it's key. It's very significant. It's, it's key, right? In the King James Bible, in the King James Bible, Job 21, verse 18, it reads, They are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carried away, carried Carrieth, carrieth away, right? And then it goes to verse 19. Now, in the Amharic of the Met of Kedus, and this is the Bible of His Majesty, this is the Book of the Seven Seals. These are the seven seals right here, Met of Kedus, of the one who sits on that throne, who is the only Moa Anbesa, the Emma Negeda, Yehuda, you understand, the rightful one, you understand, the only true and rightful one. So this is the Met of Kedus of His Majesty, the Amharic Bible of His Majesty. Now right here in the Amharic is, uh, where, where, where is it, verse uh, 18. Now verse 18 is right here. Verse 18, I don't know how clear you can see this. Verse 18 is roughly where my finger is, right? Now, I'm going to read this and we're going to translate, right? Now, let's look at the English for a moment. The English says that they are as stubble before the wind, and the chaff carry, carries them or carries them away. But there is more to it. There are four words and a question mark that is missing from the King James Version of the Bible. Now, the four words are, Yehonu sent Gizeh Nau. It's a question mark. So Yehonu, Yehonu sent Gizeh no. Yehonu sent Gizeh no. Sent Gizeh no. Yehonu sent Gizeh no. Yehonu, in other words, to be. How much time will they be, or how how much time will they be? In other words, how much time will they be is a kind of a direct and and and, and a roar. But I think this. Uh, at least should help capture at least because your honor honor mean to be or to become you understand or or how long will actually it be how long will it be will be will be a little bit more more better in that sense will be better how long will it be or in the sense of they be you understand it they your honor your honor like like to be it to be how long? How long will it be? How long will it be? You understand? They are as stubble before the wind, as chaff that the uh, as chaff that the wind carries away. How long will it be? Now this is totally missing from King James Bible. You can look up and down in your King James Bible at the same area, and you won't have it found. Now, if you study the ancient texts of the Bible you will find that it existed in the ancient text from which the Haile Selassie Bible was translated from, but was not in the um, William Tyndale slash the Vulgate um, recession of the Bible that was translated later on that became what we know today as the King James Version of the Bible. So this is just one of many, actually, areas where it reads basically virtually similar, if not the same, as um, King James, or can be interpreted similar, but nefas feet in the Gelaba, Aulo nefasim in the Mio Wesedoa Tibia, Yehono, Sinskizeno. It basically reads as a translation similar, but there is another part which is not there. That is not there. That, that was not put into the King James translation, and that question mark is very important because remember, in uh, Revelation, in the book of Revelation, there are the martyrs. 
the martyrs on the in the book of Revelation. Here Job is like a a a a prototype of the martyrs. What he experienced, the fact that he was a righteous man and there was no there was no um unrighteousness imputed to him and we know by reading Job we know the background story but here he's suffering so much affliction and everything because it was uh, uh, a test that the evil force the evil thought the evil mind came before the Almighty and said that this one who you regard as being as being so just and righteous is only just and righteous because he's in prosperity, because he has family, he has his wife and his children, and 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 and, and he's prosperous. You understand? Know but if you take all that away from him, he will curse you to your face, and and so that had to be put to the test. Now people say, well, how could the Almighty allow that? How could a just loving God allow? That? Are you God now? Are are you our Godfather? Are you the one now deciding? What, how he should exercise his sovereignty. In fact, it's a very spiritually logical conclusion that the Almighty sh did do that and should do that and did allow that. You understand? It's very important, not just as, as the, the Job is that template, you understand, but unless we understand the patience of Job. You remember in the New Testament, it says, remember the patience of Job? I think in the same area that we've been studying a little bit earlier, if I'm not incorrect on, on that, um, and that was Matthew chapter um, 24, I believe he says um, to remember the patience, you understand, or it might be in, in, in Luke, um, in, in, in the Luke, the, the Luke uh, uh, recession or rendition, where he says to remember the patience of Job. To, to, to remember the patience of Job. You understand? So Job is used as an archetypal template. It's actually used as, you know, okay, this is maybe a good example. I hope the Almighty um, um, is pleased with this. You know when you're playing a video game, right, and you get a character, and you are living, in a sense, vicariously through that character, and all the the attributes and strengths that the particular character has. You understand? Almost like nothing virtual spirituality here, but it's like a virtual kind of reality. Now, in the same way, if one meditates and studies and prays about what they don't understand or prays so that they can understand more, um, Job's template is, is, is similar, if not the same, as that for us, especially for this time of tribulation. You understand? Not just because of economics. Economics is just one, one very powerful sign, as we've been saying, one very powerful sign of the time, what's happening economically. And even the reasons, the reasons behind it are very interesting, have everything to do with slavery and the state and situation of the black man in America. Plain and simple. We've, we've expounded on that elsewhere. But here, it asks that question, Yahonu Sintkizeno. You understand? How long would that be? It says, For what pleasure hath he in his house after him, when the number of his mouth months is cut off in the midst? In other words, what pleasure does one have in his house? So how is showing that um, the, 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 the wicked, you understand, the wicked, you understand, and those who follow after the world and this evil world, are to experience the righteous judgment. As it says, how oft is the candle of the wicked put out? How oft cometh the destruction, their destruction upon them? God distributes his sorrows in his anger. In his anger, they are as stubble before the wind, the word, sound, and power, the wind, and as chaff before that the storm carrieth away. God layeth up his iniquity for his children. It says that God layeth up his iniquity, his rebelliousness for his children, because his children will follow most nine times out of ten in the worldly sense, will follow. You understand? This, that's what comes into play here is speaking on the generational curse. Here is speaking on uh, uh, the principal generational curse. He re re rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction. 
and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Now, it's also important to understand that there are different names for the divine or the, 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 the deity or for God. Using English, very hard to do, but you understand at least where I'm pointing to. You know, there are there are different names now. Job uses a lot El Shaddai or Shaddai El Shaddai, um, Hulun Chai Amlak, Hulun Yamichil Amlak, the All Able Source sent, the All Able Source. You understand? Um, and interpretively, that's Almighty in in the English. Now, it's interesting how. Revelation also goes back to that old prophetical type and also uses the Almighty. If you study different books like we do and study the different names of God, and that's also another teaching that we have to um, present for those who haven't. But the Schofield Bible has a good presentation of this in, um, in as a good presentation. So what we're going to have to do right now, we're going to have to recharge and, and Shalom Rastafari. So we don't lose this one right here, this recording. So, so more to come.